Hey folks, welcome to a new video and uh, if you're watching this on YouTube I've been missing in action for quite some time. I sort of make no apologies for that though because I've been so busy helping those of you who are my clients. And I've also been experimenting with some other sort of content to see how you folks enjoy absorbing that in the form of emails. So if you're not on the mailing list and you'd like to be on the mailing list then send me a direct message with your email address or head over to the website which is the vitalityproject.co.uk and you can sign up to the mailing, the mailing list over there. There's also the Facebook group which is our, our place for interacting with each other. We can get a bit more dialogue going over on Facebook compared to here on, uh, on YouTube if you are watching this video on YouTube. So today's topic is all about COVID and the effects that it's been having on the skin and um, over the past couple of years several of you have been talking to me about how your skin has unexpectedly taken a turn for the better whilst you've been battling the, the virus. This isn't completely unexpected or surprising to me because you know in years gone by prior to us all being hyper aware of viruses and contagiousness I had reports like that from clients who got sick and found that that seemed to take some of the burden away from the skin. So what's going on here? Why is the skin improving? Is this a hidden benefit, a silver lining to having COVID? And is this a, a permanent fix? Well, let's talk about some of the things that happens when we get sick, like any sort of infection or even a more severe illness, a more chronic illness than that. But first, let's just back up a bit here and talk about what's going on in the skin when we have eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis. Now, if you have a basic understanding of what's going on in most cases of chronic eczema, you'll understand something called vicarious elimination, which is where the skin is taken over from the normal detoxification pathways, organ systems in the body, and the skin is being used, being put upon to remove some of the toxic debris from the body. So normally this stuff goes out, it's filtered by the kidneys and the liver and goes down through the bowels and it comes out in the form of feces and urine, but also sweat and body odor and, and just exhalation, our, our breath. And so when there's congestion and um, there's an overburden on the normal routes of detoxification, the skin being this large organ, the largest organ in the body, uh, takes over to remove some of that toxic debris. Any new infection or health threatening situation that happens in the body creates a couple of effects on detoxification and vicarious elimination in the body. And the first of these is if the new infection or virus or health situation, whatever it is, is so taxing on the body, so resource heavy on the body that your vital reserve goes down, then you're less likely to have the energy left over, the vitality left over to do that house cleaning, to do that vicarious elimination through the skin. It is quite resource heavy, it's quite energy draining on the body to flush out toxins through the skin. And so if all of its resources are focused on getting rid of this virus or whatever it is, then it can shut down these roots of elimination, vicarious elimination through the skin. So this is not a good thing. You know, vicarious elimination is a compensatory mechanism in the body to get rid of toxins that need to be removed. And so if you no longer have the energy to do that, then that stuff is being deep stored, most probably in fatty tissue in the body. Now, the other thing that can happen when you have COVID or a virus or any kind of new infection is kind of the opposite to the one I was just describing, whereby your detoxification pathways open up. So things like the mucous membranes in your body that activate when you have a cold and you're flushing out loads of toxic debris through those roots can be really livened up or you might have a cough or you might run a fever. These things can amp up in the body's attempt to get rid of the virus. And so the effect of having more coughing, more mucous membranes going on, um, and, and maybe even some, some other things too, like, like more sweating. These can be routes through which toxins that are normally coming out in the form of eczema are now leaving the body. So what I'm saying is the routes that should be being used 
are being used more now because of this new threat that has come in, this new infection, this new virus. So this is actually a, a good thing. It's kind of a, a silver lining to having the infection. The body sees this as a, a bigger threat to the toxic debris that was already there. So it activates, opens up some of these detoxific detoxification pathways that needed to be opened up. This is also why if you have a healing crisis at the start of going through a healing program and you kind of get sick, nauseous, sweating, even vomiting, things like that, can be a good thing for your skin. It can create a positive, show some you know, improvements to your skin first off because you're removing a huge load of that toxic burden through more normal routes of elimination. The other thing that can be going on here when you've got COVID or any sort of infection or even more chronic diseases like cancer that you're having treatment for and you've got heavy drugs entering the body is that can be such a burden on the body that it can shut down the pathways of vicarious elimination too. So it can have the effect of improving the skin because instead of those toxins coming out through the skin, they are being redirected and just deep stored, stagnant in the body and that's not a good situation. You want detoxification to happen. Um, whenever you have a cold or you know just a common cold now, I'm not talking about infection, but when your body does any sort of house cleaning and opens up any of your detoxific detoxification pathways, if you're having more bowel movements, if you're waking up sweaty, you've, you've sweat loads in your, in your sleep, or you're just, you just happen to be weeing loads, these are causes for celebration because your body has got the vitality, the, the extra leftover energy to be doing this house cleaning and getting rid of those nasty, toxic debris products in the body that should be gotten rid of. So that's it for today's video. Do let me know in the comment section down below whether your skin did improve when you had COVID or indeed any other illness. I'd be interested and we would all be interested to know what the greater effects of this are. Let me know also as well, because I'm trying to get a gauge on the effects of long COVID and if you've had lingering effects or maybe your skin took a dive uh, after, having, after contracting and recovering from the virus. Let me know your experiences and let us all know because we are all trying to educate ourselves and get more and more aware of the nuances and the different ways which we can be improving our skin.